Craig Foster is back to look at Group D and alongside him I'm pleased to welcome former Yugoslav international Misha Radovic, a former Red Star Belgrade player. And Misha, you've just informed me too, you, you're a European under-18 champion as well. Yes, yes. Uh, thanks for having me in uh, your program. Yeah, that was 1979, we're champions of Europe. And uh, yeah, that was my biggest achievement uh, as a junior. Well, player. welcome along. It's, it's an interesting time because uh, Serbia have their issues, haven't they? Dragutinovic, who's a fantastic defender for Sevilla, and Jankovic are out of the squad. Boško Jankovic, uh, yes. T tell us how much of a uh, an impact that will be on Serbia? I, I believe that uh, that type of impact on Serbia would be more because they are uh, very... Um, Radi Antic made it now really like family side of the team, you know, they are very close to, uh, and connected uh, in between uh, players. Uh, so I, I believe it will be more impact in towards missing uh, friends in towards because Dragutinovic and Boško Jankovic, they were not really in the first 11, mm -hmm. they were coming off the bench. Dragutinovic plays on a left back and uh, Serbia has got Kolarov from Lazio really in a moment one one of the most wanted left backs in uh, Europe. Uh, you know, I, I believe Bayern Munich, Real Madrid, they are inter, inter Milan in the first place is after him. Mm -hmm. So Lukovic, who is playing for Udinese, can also uh, roll in that role on the left back. So uh, I believe Dragutinovic will be missed as a, as a you know, really support and big uh, experience you know, playing uh, all that time in uh, Seville. For Bosko Jankovic, same, really. I think uh, uh, he wasn't in the first 11, but you know, he did a little bit unfortunate with injuries. So he'll be missed, but not both of them. They were not really in the first 11. And what about Misha, your number one keeper, Stojkovic? Not a lot of football. There are concerns around him. And how deep are the goal-keeping stocks and his backups? Yes, uh, uh, that's a, a really big, biggest concern in this team, I would say, because uh, Stojkovic is not a bad uh, goalkeeper, but to be honest with you, for the last two years, he's struggling a little bit to find a spot in the first 11. First of all, in Portugal, and then uh, now again in, um, in Wigan, in England. Uh, and I think, you know, as you know, as you, you are ex soccer you know, if you sometimes don't have uh, enough games, you know, things really go wrong. Uh, Radi Antic is a really experienced um, coach himself addressed that by uh, calling four goalkeepers in uh, now uh, that preliminary, preliminary um uh, uh, squad and uh, to be honest with you, they they supposed to they they gonna have uh, three uh, friendly games against New Zealand, then is the uh, game against Poland mm. and then uh, game as against Cameroon. That's the last uh, game, where the, where of course is going to be uh, really seeing what what's the mm. option over mm. there. Uh, the 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 fourth goalkeeper that Radi Antic uh, brought is a goalkeeper Juricic from uh, Portugal first division and it's a uh, it's not significant club. It's club only just came from the second division in the first division but uh, he made it impact over there. Misha let's look at Group D because it was interesting when the draw was made Milovan Rajovic and Radiantic were sitting with each other in South Africa they're very good friends you know Rajovic very well what's your feelings on this group? Yes yes uh, because Milovan Rajovic and, uh, and uh, Radiantic are from really same uh, town and uh, village over there next to Užice it's called uh, in Serbia in central Serbia. Mm. Um, I'm a really good friend with uh, Miki Rajovic because in those days when he was playing for Red Star, I was in Red Star and he was like all the mentor to me. We ended up playing the same position, he was a left back in those days. I spoke uh, just, uh, you know, uh, in towards coming here to, to see you guys. I spoke to him uh, last night actually, our time, but that was uh, uh, during a uh, game uh, yesterday in London. He was in London actually to see the player, the one who changed the nationality in towards uh, being yeah, yeah. Uh, coming. Well, thing, yeah. That's right. So uh, I asked him yesterday, uh, what does he think uh, you know about our group and yes. stuff and his opinion that uh, Serbia and uh, Germany are favorites on a paper and knowing uh, Miki I know that uh, he's very competitive and he's very good tactician and I know that uh, he will try he's got a lot of problems with the team with injury injuries mm. Michael Essien is uh, injured and a couple of other players mm. so I don't think it's a very easy situation for him